So to break up our shape, because I have it set to a column stitch, you notice that we got in satins going in weird directions. So one easy way to fix this is to break our shape into separate sections. To do that, we're going to select two nodes. So I'm in create mode. I'm going to use my lasso, select my two nodes, and I'm going to right click on one of them and where it says and choose break across. This is going to remove the satin fill so we can't see it anymore. But when I now apply and if I look at my object pane, I now have two objects. I have this one here, I have this one here because I broke across that section. So now when I select this one and I go and hit satin column, I have a little bit more evenness. Now there's still some wonky stuff in here, but I can probably fix that by um, reshaping my nodes or deleting extra nodes or doing whatever it needs to do just for that section. So, but I can now have a lot more control because I only have this one thing to worry about. So now we have the next one. I'm for my satin column. We have the same wonky thing going over here. So I'm going to select my two nodes. I'm going to right click on one of them. Choose break across. So now I look at my object list here and when I look at it, I have, this is my first column. Here's my second column on the other side. Let's apply a satin stitch to it and it, it's okay. And then we have our third one in the center, which we'll put a satin column on. And I'm going to basically do the same thing with that one here. But what I want to make sure is you see, we're now changing the stitching order. So this, we want this one to stitch first, the V to stitch second, and this one to stitch last. So I need to right click on it and say move last. So now it's going to stitch in order. I have a jump that's going in between because my starts and stops are in weird places. So we're not going to worry about that because I'm going to go to the create menu, choose auto entry exit, and that is going to readjust my starts and stops so that it's going to run nicely. And I knew that by going to my stitch simulator and I see my underlay stitches and it's going to stitch here and there's no jumps in this design. But my satins are at least now going in a more logical fashion.